I'm Melissa Rose sitting down with Drew Smith. Thanks so much for chatting with me. You're welcome. I'm going to take you back a year now. Okay. You find out it's March 2019. You find out that you need Tommy John. What's going through your head? Um, actually, I, I kind of expected it when, when they ended up telling me I was having all the symptoms and uh, I'd been dealing with it for a little while in, in spring training. Um, but to hear the news and, and really know that's what's going to happen, I mean, it, it's going to hit any athlete hard mm -hmm. when you know you're on a, a 12 to 15 month recovery timeline and, and uh, I've seen guys go through it. I see the grind. I see the pain. Um, so it, that was kind of an eye opener and, and just really a, a shocking reality just that hit me right there in that moment when Dr. Alchek told me and uh, I knew it was going to be a long road, but I was ready for it. I kind of prepared myself over the last couple of days before that. and. Uh, Man, it's just, it's been a wild ride, that's for sure. How long was it before you could actually even pick up a baseball? <clears throat> Four and a half months. Wow. Yeah, the first 10 days I was in a, a cast, really. Uh, I was immobilized, which was the worst thing for me because I'd never, as a kid, I was pretty healthy. Never broke any bones or anything, didn't have a cast on. Um, so that first 10 days of not being able to move was uh, miserable. <laughs> but then the next six weeks after that, I was in a brace. And week by week, it would go from, from here to there and then you just slowly open it up until you had all range of motion and then after that uh, that's when all the physical therapy started that was probably the worst the worst physical part of it so the pain from the physical therapy yeah they just getting full range of motion back um, straightening the elbow out all the way getting to here again uh, that was probably the, the most painful uh, part of the rehab by far um, but then did that for a couple weeks and started the strengthening exercises and uh, that led to throwing about four and a half months which is which is the the first good day i had probably out of the process but it was it was uh it was tough what did that rehab program through physical therapy look like um i would get there probably about seven i would start by just heating it up just because it was usually pretty stiff in the mornings um, and then it would go go into range of motion stuff slowly uh, getting full range of motion back and then I would do a bunch of forearm exercises with the physical therapist and a lot of shoulder stuff a lot of scap stuff because um, the biggest thing is you want to build up everything around it and uh, so if you make that stronger then it's going to take some some stress off of the ligament itself and your elbow um, so that was the first four months is honestly pretty boring it's not there's not a lot of action a lot of waiting, a lot of healing. Um, that's the worst part is you can only do so much for it and you just gotta sit and let it rest and heal. And uh, as an athlete, not being able to do something to make something better just drives you crazy and that's that was the mental aspect of it for sure. So when you actually started to throw again, now it's four and a half months later, when you picked up that ball, were you apprehensive to throw? Did you think, I don't want to let too loose, I could hurt myself again? Or were you just ready to go at no, it? No, I was, I was ready to go at it. Um, I'd, uh, I'd done a, a couple dry throws. I probably wasn't supposed to do that, but just for my, <laughs> yeah, just for my mental uh, just mindset, just knowing that if I went through my motion and, and it didn't hurt, uh, I needed that before I kind of picked up a ball and played catch and just jumped right into it. But I knew from, from all the rehab I had done, the four and a half months of, of preparation leading up to that moment that I should be fine. I mean, I knew how much work I put in, how hard I worked, and uh, there was no apprehension in terms of throwing or, or anything in that moment. Once you started to throw and you got comfortable, a lot of guys have said um, that they really feel um, like an increase in their movement or an increase in their velocity. Did you see any of that right away? Yeah, for sure. Um, the velocity, not so much, but the first four and a half months I was working with mobility and, and flexibility and getting range of motion back because I've always been really tight and in my arm uh, rotations hip rotations stuff like that so I focused on that and I did feel a lot more fluid when I was playing catch um, the velocity came as I threw more and more and I could tell that I think I'm gonna probably be a little bit better than I was before coming back so that was really encouraging but yeah the just the, the um, movement I guess you said that that was probably the biggest thing I saw so we've touched a little bit on the physical aspect of the rehab. What was the mental aspect like? That was by far the hardest part. Um, the physical aspect, I would say the first eight weeks is the worst, just from the range of motion stuff, that's the pain and stuff. But the mental aspect lasts up until even now. Um, it's, it's just not being able to play with your teammates and feeling like you're not a part of the team, just sitting around here rehabbing while, while they're playing, watching it on TV, things like that. Um, I, I'd never experienced anything like that and I, I really didn't know how to handle it at first and that was uh, that was probably pretty difficult in the, in the early goings but as the season went on 
as I continued to rehab, uh, I realized I just had to focus on the moment. And the moment I was in was different from the team. And that's okay because I knew that this year I'd get my opportunity to come back and, and contribute. So that's what I tried to focus on. It's been like your rock for everything. Um, my dad, he's been, not so much as far as baseball, but just, just being there for me when I have any issue in terms of rehab. Um, I mean, I still deal with life things, obviously, throughout the process. I try to focus all on baseball, but uh, he's been great. He would listen any any time I had a rough day, I could call him, let him know how I was feeling, let him know I was struggling with this, with that. You know, my arm was hurting that day, um, and he was just there as a dad. And that's, that's the best thing he could have done for me by far. Absolutely. What about uh, from a baseball perspective? Were there any players that had gone through what you went through that you were really able to lean on or learn from? Yeah, I talked to, uh, I talked to Jake. Um, I talked to Steven Matz. I even talked to Zach Wheeler at the end of spring training last year when I had surgery. So I got all their perspectives, um, all differing. Uh, Jake, being the freak athlete he is, he didn't have any issues. So he was like, yeah, I felt good at 12 months, and I was ready to pitch in the game. So some guys are like that, and that's awesome. But then the other side of it was Steven and Zach. Uh, they struggled. They, they had ups and downs, like a lot of guys do. And uh, so they kind of gave me their feedback on what they went through, what they did to, to get better um, mentally, things to, to focus on. And that helped a lot as well. When you mentioned to me earlier that you're throwing a pen, what are you working on? What are you excited about? It's, I get to throw curveballs for the first time, so that's going to be a big day. Um, I'm really excited about it. And uh, before that, it's just been fastball changeup, and uh, I've been really pleased with how everything's been going. My arms been feeling really good. Uh, my location, my command has been better than it was before. And uh, just being out there and like, pitching again, I, I can't, I can't put into words how how good that makes me feel. What is your ultimate hope for 2020? Uh, I hope to come back fully healthy, maybe even better than I was before. Uh, I just want to contribute to the team in any way I can because I know we're going we're gonna to have a really good year. Um, everything's looking great. The team's looking great. I, I mean, our strength is, is top to bottom. We just have a very good, deep team, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Well, I'm excited to watch you be a part of it. Thanks awesome. so much for sitting down with us. Yes, no problem. Thank you.